guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a behind the scenes of a planner shop owner type of video the last one I did like this was the design with me that I did for our journey to Atlantis kit so I will leave that link down below a bunch of you guys really liked that video and you wanted to see more so I figured I would show you guys like a different step in the process um, so yeah I was packaging a bunch of orders from the 4th of July sale and I realized I've never shown you guys my packaging cart or my stock closet. I feel like in most vlogs I've shown you guys kind of like me actually packaging a few orders but yeah I've never shown you guys like the full thing. So that's what we're gonna do today and yeah let's go ahead and get started. So this is what the orders look like when they are packaged and ready for me to print shipping labels so they can go in their mailers. Um, I just use a basket from the Target dollar spot. I honestly got this years and years ago, like when the shop first opened. So like probably like 2015 or so. I don't know. They're honestly a little bit beat up and I've thought about replacing them at least a hundred times, but like they're, they work, so we just keep them. I have a couple of these, and then I also have some plastic containers that I use if, like, I have more, like, I need more um, boxes to hold orders. But luckily, all of the orders from today fit in here perfectly. So if you have ordered from us before, you know that your order comes packaged in a cello bag um, with a dashboard. And then behind the dashboard, we have your stickers. And then on the very back, we have an invoice. So I'd show you the back, but obviously that would then show that person's name. So anyway, the exception would be if you order like washi tape, your washi tape ends up in front of the dashboard just because it keeps your order a little bit better packaged that way. So to actually get from the orders like not being packaged to here, my husband Cody prints and cuts all of these stickers. So this is what's left over after um, like I've already gone through and done all of these orders, obviously. So I think this stack was probably about up to here. And so for each order, I just take the invoice and I go through the um, stack and I pull whatever stickers the order has out of the stack and then they go in here. So like I said, Cody prints and cuts all of our stickers. So all of the stickers are upstairs. So basically we have a filing cabinet of all of our stickers. And if we already have it cut, he doesn't have to cut it. So it just like goes on the stack. And so basically at the end of it, I just get like a big stack of stickers. So in order to like determine what we need, we used to make a list like this. So basically what I would do is I would write the SKU number down and then do tally marks for every single one that we needed. So obviously as our order volume grew, the more likely and quite frank frequently that it was that I made a mistake. So Cody is a computer programmer and he actually built a program where we load our orders in and it makes basically this, but in computer form. So there's no mistakes. Um, don't ask me to explain it because I don't know but whatever. Uh, some shop owners use a spreadsheet that you can download off of Etsy um, or they use like a secondary program that you pay monthly for to get a list essentially. Or some do it just like I used to do it and they would, you know, write a list. Some people just go one by one and print and cut one by one order. Every shop owner does it completely differently. So like my way is not the only way but that's just how it works for us. So, like I said earlier, I feel like you guys have probably seen me packaging at some point in a vlog because anytime I do a weekly vlog, it's almost inevitable that at some point I'm gonna be packaging in that vlog because I package two to three times a week. Um, so yeah, a lot of the time when I film it though, I'm in my desk, but most of the time when I package, I'm actually in the living room because the TV's in there, um, I can spread out a little bit more, and usually my dog is in my lap and it's more comfortable in there. So I wanted all of my packaging supplies to be portable because that way I could package in my office or in the living room. Plus that means I can put all of my packaging supplies in the closet and I can close the doors and if I'm not packaging I don't have to like look at the mess because 
there's a lot of stuff that goes into packaging. So yeah, let me show you guys my packaging cart and then I will show you guys our stock closet. So this is my packaging cart. I just reorganized it yesterday, so it is the perfect time for me to show you all of the stuff. But basically, it's one of those three-tiered wheel carts. I got this one at Target. The reason I'm specifically saying I like the Target one is because the Target one has handles. And so, I don't know, like I'm honest, like honestly guys, the handles like make or break it for me. I love to have the handles so that um, it's just easier to like push it around. And um, yeah, but you can pretty much get them at like Walmart, Ikea, Michaels, pretty much anywhere. Um, and you can just pick which one you like. But yeah, these are a few orders that were missing a few things. So they're actually gonna go over here. That's what that um, little list was that I showed you guys earlier. So yeah, basically here's the overview once again. On the top tier, I keep this bin that I also got at Target and in the bin I have um, all of my cello bags and then I also have um, some order cards that are in here. And then right here I have the uh, washi labels so we try to keep a bunch of these on hand so that like if I'm packaging a bunch of orders I don't run out. This is our die cut binder. So these are the die cuts that we have in the shop. I use, um, they're not baseball card sleeves because they're bigger than that. I can't remember what they're called, but um, yeah, basically they are plastic sleeves that are divided into fourths so that I can keep a bunch of different die cuts. And I just use, I think this is a two, no, this is a like one, maybe one and a half inch binder um, that I use to store all of the die cuts. These are our reading challenge maps for the second half of the year. So I have these here because right now they were just listed. So a bunch of people, like they're popping up in a bunch of orders. So basically the rest of this cart is all stock from the stock closet. And I basically just kind of put whatever most people are purchasing on the cart. So um, usually that's like new releases or um, things like that. So in this bin, I got this at Ikea. They are filled with these little plastic cups that I also got at Ikea. So there's six of them. And I just have the bookmarks that people are purchasing most often in here. Right here, I have some journal cards that are in the shop. So I have those obviously handy. And then these are our like plastic adhesive pockets. So you get these when you order like pocket kits or if you order um, like die cut packs. So they go in here. So yeah, that is why I pretty much keep a good amount of these on hand at all times because they come, they come kind of as a freebie for some of our listings. And then this little bin has a few of our um, enamel pens and planner charms. So I just have like three or four of each of these in this little bin so that if somebody orders them, I don't have to necessarily go to the closet. And then over here, I just have a few like little smaller cellos and uh, small order cards because I usually if you order a pocket kit or a die cut pack I try to put these in here um, just to keep them kind of separated so that's what that's for and then on the bottom row I have actually some extra room because we're kind of transitioning right now I just had a bunch of stuff in the clearance section and so um, yeah, I ended up with just some extra room because a lot of the clearance stuff is already back in the closet so that I can like start making grab bags and things like that. So I have this extra bin. These little plastic bins I picked up at Michael's. They come three to a pack. So I have two down here and then this is the third one. This little bin, by the way, I got at Target. Both of the like clear bins, I got them in like the bathroom section. So 
there's a tip if you need bins definitely check out like the little bathroom section especially if you need like smaller bins um so yeah this one's empty this one has some of our decals so we have a bunch that are left over some of these are gonna go in grab bag soon but yeah we have like make your own magic books take you to the stars and talk planners to me and then we have the little moon phases as well so i just keep those in here and then this little bin i got on amazon so i will leave it linked down below but it basically has like five compartments and so i store whatever the most popular washi at the time is in here and i like it because it can close so i can also like sit things on it if i need to or whatever so yeah, that is our packaging cart. Um, other than like what's on this cart, the only thing I really need when I'm packaging is a pen. So I just grab whatever pen is handy and use it. Um, so yeah, let me go show you the stock closet. So this is the stock closet. It's still a little messy because like I said, we're transitioning. So I like cleaned it up yesterday, but I didn't like completely clean it because I know it's gonna need like a total overhaul soon once we get like all of the grab bags done. So yeah, but basically these long shelves I got at Home Depot, the brackets um, I also got at Home Depot. So basically you buy the brackets the like the actual like wall piece which you can see a lot better here so basically you buy the wall piece and then these brackets and then the shelf separately so i basically measured across to see like what the longest shelf was and i bought three of those and then i also bought a shorter one so that i could use this like drawer system so the drawer system is from michael's it's basically like a knockoff alex drawer um and yeah, all the shelving is from Home Depot. These little bins are the like shoebox size plastic tote boxes that you can buy. Um, they're usually about a dollar. I bought all of mine at Target, but they are literally everywhere. They're at the dollar store, they're at Walmart, um, a whole bunch of other places. And then these little cube type bins I already had from a previous shelf so I just use these down here instead of buying new ones. The magazine files I got at Ikea and this little box I got at Ikea too. So the very top shelf up there I really just need to like completely redo. Most of these brown boxes are cello bags that I don't want to use because they're too thin and like crinkly so I'll probably use them for grab bags just to like actually use them the hanging folders though i do use in our like sticker filing cabinet so i wanted to go ahead and mention those these top two shelves of stock is basically all stock for the store so we have mostly washi tape but we have washi um enamel pens any kind of like felt clips or planner charms that we do any kind of sticky notes anything like that so yeah we have just a bunch of that and like i said a lot of this is going to be kind of clearanced out soon so yeah some totes have like i usually try to keep like one thing per tote box or whatever but like right now it's kind of a mess so then this last shelf down here that goes all the way across I have some bookmarks that were just clearanced out. This whole box is full of stuff that was just clearanced out. I have some shipping labels. I have some of these 5x7 notepads that are going to be in grab bag soon. And then I have um, some order cards. And then over here I have some business cards that I use for like pin packaging and things like that. I also have some of these like smaller order cards if I need to use like a 4 by 6 cello bag. I have some cello bags right there. On this bottom shelf down here I kind of had it organized enough to where I could like label these for a while but now it's really not. I have some magazine files. In the magazine files I have uh, some vinyl that I'm going to use for some decals. I have some washi that hasn't come out yet. Next to that I have some just like random supplies. Um, 
This one was shipping supplies, like extra, like little mailers and things like that. I don't know what all's in there now. This was going to be clearance, but now it's really not. And then this was stuff that I wanted to de-stash out of like my personal collection, I guess. I don't know. So then down here on the floor, I have some extra magazine files. I have some pens that are going to be coming out in the next few months. Back there are some like lids that are used like that you could use for the tote boxes. I grabbed some lids when I bought them just because obviously they come with it, but I don't really need them, but I figured I would need a few maybe if I need ever needed to like stack some or whatever. So, yeah. Those are some of those. This is holding some more extra washi for now. We have a bunch of extra washi. Some of it hasn't even come out yet, which is why we're kind of like overloaded right now because we have some clearance, we have some current stock, and then we have some future stock. So yeah, it's a little bit of a like confusing mess up there. But um, here are the sticker albums. So we have the larger size and then the smaller size. So then over here on this side of the closet, I have like an extra shelf back here. I have just other equipment like tripods and lighting and things like that. Um, and then this drawer system is kind of just a mix of stuff that like I might personally need and then also some shop stuff. I still need to go through this and organize it a little bit more. But um, yeah, like this top drawer is all like white out and scissors and things like that. This next one is like color pencils and highlighters. I see some packaging tape, just, you know, random stuff. This one is all like scrapbook paper and things like that that I might use. Um, and then like down here, I have like extra cello bags. Um, some order cards from like when we had our old logo, so I need to do something with that. These cello bags I used to use for washi, but I don't anymore, so I need to do something with that. Um, so yeah, just, you know, things like that. This bottom drawer has like shelf brackets and inserts for planners that like I might test stickers and stuff in. Um, so yeah, and then down here on the floor, I don't know if you guys saw this little stack, but basically I have a couple of mini happy planners that I was using to make, um, stickers and stuff or like test stickers for, um, and then I also had like a bunch of cello bags. These are all, uh, like smaller size cello bags that I was using for, um, the go wild swag actually so like I just need to find a place for this stuff so yeah that is pretty much it for my packaging process and also behind the scenes of my packaging cart and my stock closet um like I said I just cleaned up my packaging cart yesterday and like got it all ready to go but my closet still needs some work because um it's pretty much just like an ongoing organization project because I'm always just kind of like running in there grabbing what I need and then just like stuffing stuff back in there so I really need to especially clean out the top get all the grab bags done and then I can kind of like organize some more like I said, it's an ongoing process. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I try to put up videos twice a week. They're usually planner or book related. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Comment down below. Let me know. I don't know. Let me know what planner you use. Let me know what stickers you use. I don't know. Comment below with something. And yeah, I will see you guys really soon with another video. Bye!